In the previous episode, I ran the national championships in hell. Welcome. I managed to get the bronze in 100 meter, and I missed out the 200 gold by a hundredth of a second before I face planted into the track. Now, I named this series Operation Oregon because of a dream of reaching the world, world championships, championships, but I missed out on that too with a big margin. Now, my main goal for this season is to qualify for the European Championships in August. I'm currently within the rankings, and with four weeks left before the deadline, there's not much left to do other than running fast and crossing our fingers. After the national champs, I just relaxed as hard as possible, slept as much as I could and ate a lot of food. Then I traveled to Oslo to attend the Boys to Memorial 200 meter. Twenty ninety nine and a win at this meet would have bettered my world ranking if I just had gotten 2.0 wind. Sadly we got 2.1, but on to the next, tomorrow we're going to Switzerland. On the day before competition I like to do a little bit of a warm up and some test runs. I did some easy accelerations and then some 90% runs through the bend. The bends here are really really long and they feel really nice, so I'm looking forward to the 200. While doing my session today, the conditions were absolutely perfect. Now let's move on to tomorrow for the competition day. Warmed up for the morning session, 100 meter heats, let's go. And 75 really really not happy with that time the conditions have been pretty good but of course our heat was really unlucky and got a minus 2.1 headwind guess i'll just have to focus on the 200 later in the day before i warm up for the 200 let's have a look at this amazing 100 meter final <laughs> This is the fastest 100 I've ever seen myself live. You might remember Mena, the Cuban who was my roommate at my season over meet. After his 999 he also ran the 200 in 1963. What? So I can't say anything about the conditions before the 200. I'm warmed up and ready after seeing the great times in the heat. This might be a really close race looking at the start list. Let's go. I won my heat in a season best of 20.71, only three hundredths of a second behind my personal best. Almost hard to believe how close I can be to a personal best in the 200 while being so far from a personal best in the 100. I guess that's something to work on for the next couple of months. So now it's back home and back to training. Man, these guys are fast and I've been feeling really really slow for the past couple of weeks uh, i started to up the volume a little bit after i came back home from switzerland my body shut down i struggled to get even over 10 meters per second in the flyings and here i'm not even going sub 11 in the hundreds usually i'll cruise those times but i've just not been able to but then yesterday 13 days post competition i was finally starting to feel like myself again i ran eight times 60 meters had a lot of tailwind in the session but either way it felt really good to finally have a session where i wasn't that far behind my best
finished off the session with the 30 meter flying where I just focused on staying relaxed like I wanted to do in the 200. It felt really nice and relaxed and the time was pretty quick. Nice way to finish off the session. I'm hoping for some more good sessions coming up next week. And these girls are fast. Today marks one month until the 200 meter at European Championships in Munich. Today I'm running four by 100 meters with 15 minutes rest. We'll see if I can beat Crazy Price's time. And then I'm running a 200 meter. I'm still feeling the 60s from a couple of days ago, but that will probably go away after a warm up. Let's go to the track. I'll catch you guys there. Two chances for the reaction. That's about the same time as Fraser Bryce. Felt really good in that final 100. This might be one of the best 100 meter sessions I've ever had. Very reminiscent of the session where I tested my Max Flies and the Puma Spikes about one year ago. Now I've had 15 minutes break between each of the 100s. I took a little bit extra before the 200 just to set out the timing gates. Let's go. <laughs> Had a little bit headwind in the band in the 200, that considered this is probably one of the best ones I've ran in training, even after 400s. Now this is all the free lap splits, some of the fastest flying times I've ever recorded. So I'm progressing and things are looking good one month out from the European champs. Now thank you all for watching, please leave a like and subscribe if you're interested in more videos. An extra big big thank you to the channel members who helped me support this channel. Feel free to join the lowest member tier if you're interested in a 5 week basic sprint training program based on my training and the higher ranks if you're interested in extra training updates and early videos. Either way, I'll catch you guys another day. Peace.